two boys. How's my two boys? Today I got pretty boy Leaf and I got his son Marlo. And uh, we've, we've been having a riot out here today. It's just been so fun. It's uh, second last day of 2017. And uh, <laughs> you guys better let me get my coat done up. I have the two friendliest dogs I own with me today. And uh, I tell you what, we had some fun on the way here. We're having fun the whole way. These are really, really friendly guys. Leaf's probably the friendliest dog in the planet. The friendliest outcome, anyway. And his boy Marlo has got all them good traits. Now these boys, they're highly skilled mountain dogs. But uh, I gotta tell you a little story because uh, this, this is not a, a fancy uh, scientific study, but I'm pretty sure they show genetics. They transfer a genetic trait, and that trait is walking on the back of the snowshoes. Because Leaf, when he came, he thought this was the greatest spot in the world. To, in this heavy, deep snow, he'd get on the back of my shoes. And he thought that was fantastic. And so I'm we're in bush the whole way here and it's heavy uphill heavy downhill heavy timber going around trees everything and he's on there now he's transferred that to Marlow so I had one on each shoe at times and 95% of the way here I had one of them now the other neat thing that's pretty fun with these guys is they're so friendly that if they get a little ways ahead of me they stop and wait for me to get there now in heavy timber you can't get around them, and they they won't uh, they, they won't go ahead because they think we're having fun, and I can't get around them because they got the snowshoes on. There's two trees here, and heavy branches to the ground, and so it took me twice as long to get here and twice as much work today as any other day. But we had a fun time, didn't we, boys? Hey, didn't we, boys? So this is awesome. Yeah, pretty good bunch pretty good bunch so turn for the camera here buddy oh there's my boy you can come up here maybe even. there's my big fella what a good boy what a good boy now Marlo he's uh, he's coming up to 16 weeks he's here for the Desna training and just due to the holidays and the flight plans and just to just to commitments and so forth that the owner had Marlo is starting to stay with me for a little bit longer which is totally fine we're just going to keep training him he's uh, he's every bit as good as his dad already but we'll just keep training him Leaf he's uh, been here almost a year today I don't know exactly the day it came but it came about a year ago Leaf's been a really really good dog now if you don't know anything about Leaf Leaf's are one of our top new stud dogs and we brought his genetic in because it's a, the very best genetic we could find to match with our dogs. It, it's the very best genetic in the show world uh, and uh, just a phenomenal dog. Come around here, Leaf. Come over here. Good boy. And uh, I'm, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go on the other side of you. You just let me go over here. Marlo? Marlo? Come boy. Come on back up in the video. Come boys. You guys come up here in the video. We'll get you in the sunlight here. Good boy, Leaf. Come here, Leaf. Right here. What a good boy. Turn for the camera. Jump up here, Marlo. Good boy. Oh, you guys are fantastic. My goodness. You could stay up here, Marlo. You just stay right there, buddy. And then stay for the camera. Good. Good. So yeah, Leaf's genetics, they match up with ours so well. All our dogs are full working lines, so um, Leaf is uh, bringing in a show genetic that's really, 
really a standout for us and it uh, matches up really really well and so he's had three litters um, actually he's had four litters since he came a year ago and all with our very best females and the the pups are just incredible so we're so pleased so this little guy here he's uh, he's just so phenomenal out here now, for those of you that don't know, we we raise the very best outcomes in North America. We got world class dogs, actually, lots of them, and our dogs go around the world. And uh, I set the pups up for the owners, so they stay with me. And all my lines are working lines, or hiking lines, and hunting lines. Leaf is our first uh, show genetic. But we uh, set all these pups up for the owners. Now the elk hound is the world's greatest hiking dog. A lot of people don't even know anything about an elk hound, but for centuries, 4,000 years or more, they've been walking around Scandinavia with the hunters and the hikers hiking and hunting and trapping and fishing and outdoor woodsmen been with them for all that time. And they're, they're the very best at that area. And we have the very best lines in that area, so our dogs are extremely skilled. I, I hike all over this region with little guys like that all the time. Uh, this year especially, I had a pup almost every day, two, three times a day out in this stuff every day. Marlo, come by me, buddy. Come in the video, Marlo. Come in the video, buddy. There's lots to explore and stuff for him up here, so he's having fun. He won't be long over there though because the snow's pretty deep. But he's doing good. Leaf, I put him through the Desna program and he's a rock star. Aren't you, buddy? Good boy. What a good boy. You just keep an eye on that, Marlo. That's a good boy. What a good boy. Leaf's got this great nature, so I'm really happy with him. He's turned out really well. He's filled in, muscled in. He's really good out here. So he's, he's super smart. He's caught on very, very well. Excellent. So we're really pleased with him. Now these, these lineages that I talk about, I talk about them a lot, but uh, Marlo, come on, buddy. Come in here. We'll talk about you. Come on, boy. And uh, Leaf has, has just a historic background. His breeder, of course, one of the very best breeders in North America. And uh, she's done a great thing for the outcomes to put one of her very best into the working lineages and to get the, the good lines that she had back into the uh, back into the working lines. You come up here, buddy. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. You just sit by me here, buddy. Oh, that's right. Now, Marlo, of course, is out of Kai, which is the the background of Marlowe is so amazing. It, it's quite phenomenal. So uh, the the skill level that this little guy exhibits is is just it's quite unbelievable. And when you're out in these train this kind of conditions, you you've got to have uh, highly skilled dogs. Now Marlo is. Uh, is a famous golden ring dog, so he uh, comes out of Kai's lineage, and uh, those are the very best outcomes of all. And of course, uh, his his grandfather is Bram, which is one of the very best Norway dogs to come into Canada. And we I got a lot of pups out of Bram. I got three of Bram's daughters in the yard, and in. The background of Marlowe, of course, um, his great-grandfather is probably the best um, hiking elk hound in North America, which is Dakota. And Leaf's grandfather is, believe it or not, the high point champion of all time in North America, elk hound, show elk hound. Leaf has... 13 Westminster best in show, best in breed winners, 
in his background, uh, which is in Marlowe, of course, and as you probably all know, uh, the only outcome to win the uh, Westminster is in Leaf's background. In Marlowe's background on his mother's side, uh, in the Norwegian Kennel Club, there's every every dog in from in Norway is a champion hunting dog. They're all hunting champions, but lots of them have went on to go into the shows in the Norwegian Kennel Club as well. And there is a, a best in show in the Norwegian Kennel Club in the background of this dog as well. Now, all of the top hunting dogs all through. Siberia, northern Sweden, northern Finland, all through Norway, all those, all those countries, all the very best dogs are, are in these two.